All the pre-race talk is of Peter Brock with you being the major challenger. He seems to think that you're his major opposition. Do you see it that way? I would think the the, the new Commodore and the, the Volvo will be very, very fast. It's the type of circuit that will suit them. They have a lot of power and uh, there's a lot of very slow corners, so they get the maximum advantage of the power. The Rover is much better through fast corners. If there's some really fast sweeping corners, then we could probably eat them through there. But uh, the circuit tends to be a power circuit, which I think will favour the, the Commodore and the Volvo. I think what Wynn and I have got to do is just work really hard trying to stay with them and uh, wear them down. Tom, you're a man that is well familiar with this kind of racing on the other side of the world. Would it be true to say that you'd be hard pushed in Europe to find a field this good? Uh, it's a very, very good field. Uh, obviously in international racing anywhere I think you, 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 you find a lot of depth to it and, and a lot of cars that are competitive. And I think it's very good that we've got the top drivers from Europe and the top drivers from this part of the world racing against each other. And I think we should put on. There are problems racing. with one of the favourites. The Win Percy Tom Walkinshaw Rover is in the pits, and I'm with Win Percy. What's been the trouble, Win? Well, the idea was that I should go out and do four or five laps and just qualify myself for the race, and then we could come in and Tom could take over. He's behind you, making funny faces at the moment, by the way, and uh, just go out and go on with the proper qualifying, settle the car down. But immediately we took to the track this morning, we had a car run on to seven cylinders. And uh, I'm afraid we haven't cured it, so it's coming on to rain now. I think we've goofed this session completely. Which means that you didn't have the advantage of the dry track and therefore people like Robbie Frankovic in the Volvo and Peter Brock in the Commodore got good times and you haven't got that, which means you might be condemned to the back of the field somewhere. It looks as if we're going to be an awful long way back at the moment. Is that a real problem in a race like this? Yes, I think it is. Um, it's so tight round here, you know, even a small 1600 capacity car could hold you up for a couple of laps without a problem. How is it that you're smiling in the background there, Tom Walk? Sure, you must be feeling like the devil. Well, you need to laugh or cry, don't you? Is it a problem that you can fix quickly, do you think? Well, the trouble with it is it's under load, so you don't know if you're fixed until you back out again. But anyway, we'll, we'll change all the electrics on the engine and uh, hope it's okay for the next session. The trouble is if it's raining now, that's screwed it anyway, so... They're very short practice sessions, aren't they? Yeah, well, yeah. You'd better not blink too much, yeah. But you're going...